Castle, where the Duke of Edinburgh and the Earl Marshal, the Duke of Norfolk, captain rival teams in a match in aid of the National Playing Fields Association. The Earl Marshal, who owns the castle, loses the toss and is put into bat. Many famous Sussex players, plus a couple from Middlesex, make up his team. Prince Philip waits eagerly in the slips. All his team, except his private secretary, Lieutenant Commander Michael Parker, wicketkeeper today, are former England cricketers. But the Duke of Norfolk is one person he's determined to get out all on his own. Prince Philip to the Duke of Norfolk, who misses with a cross bat swing. The Duke to the Duke again. Prince Philip gets set for another one, and a tricky off-break bowls the Duke of Norfolk. The Earl Marshal congratulates Prince Philip, but I'll bet he's planning revenge. With 205 to get for victory, the Duke of Edinburgh's team goes into bat. Wickets start to fall, so in comes the captain to lend a hand. The Duke of Norfolk puts left-hander Jim Wood on the bowl. Now for a change of bowling, the Duke of Norfolk to Prince Philip, who adds a few more runs to bring his total to 18, a fine effort against some aggressive bowling. The Duke of Norfolk again, but the ball just fails to knock the bales off. George Cox to Prince Philip, and he's bowled in. A great reception greets the Duke, who put up a really sporting fight. Final victory goes to his rivals by only eight runs. A few days before, Cowdery Park saw the sporting Duke in action again in the polo field, and there wasn't a keener or more vigorous player on the field. His pony stumbles and the Duke falls, but he's soon on his feet again and ready for more. Experts say that if only he could get more practice, Prince Philip would rank among the top players. British sportsmen owe a great deal to the Duke of Edinburgh, who is giving a lead to Britain's youth in the sports world. Watch his dash and enthusiasm as he chalks up one of the goals that gives his Cowdery Park team a sound win over their opponents. Club of Scotland held its Easter meeting at Glencoe. There was a good attendance, and 64 competitors, some from Norway, took part in the slalom races. The course has a drop of 450 feet, with 35 gates to be negotiated. Women competitors put up a good show. It was grand fun, but Easter has its serious side. Witness the Ban the Bomb marches. 